Saint. I love you, buddy, but you can't be in here. Bye. It never, it never fails. When I hit the button to film, Saint, my dog, he comes walking in and he hears it all. Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Bailey Sarian and today I want to sit down and do a makeup video. I also like just didn't know what to film so I was like, I'm gonna do a Q&A because I haven't done one since. If you like makeup, if you like true crime, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. On Mondays we do true crime story and makeup and then here Saturdays is more like a normal day. Today's video is sponsored by Teamy Blends. So they wanted to partner with me, which is amazing. It's awesome that a brand wants to work with me and partner with me and I appreciate it so much. So this is Teamy Blends Detox Mask. This mask contains lemongrass and matcha green tea. It has a cooling sensation. Um, you can use it two to three times a week, especially if you are someone like myself who wears makeup every single day or almost every day. The smell is amazing. It smells like a high-end spa. This mask is a quick way to refresh and improve overall skin glow. It does not dry your skin out. Also, if you're anything like me, I get breakouts hormonally or just due to stress. And this mask, you can even do it as like spot treatment if you wanted to, just on your current breakouts to help really suck out all the impurities. Get your life moving on, get that pimple gone. You know a pimple that stays there for far too long and you're like, get out of here? So I'm just gonna let this dry and then once it dries, I'm gonna wash it off and it will give my skin just a really pretty healthy glow and my skin will just be ready to go. You know when you're wearing a robe and you're just praying that it doesn't like open and your boobs fall out? Me, me right now. Anyways, while I'm waiting for this to dry, let me look at my phone and I could just answer a question. Okay, so this one's on Instagram. It's from I love my, I love my what? How many tattoos do you have? Which is the most significant to you? Love you. Love you too. How many tattoos do I have? I never know how to answer this question because like I have both of my arms done, right? I have one underneath my boobs, my back. I have my shins, back of my shins, random stuff on my upper thighs. I have my bats, nothing on my butt. My butt is completely open. And which one is most significant to me? That's hard to say because I feel like I'm more of a an art collector. Like I don't necessarily get a tattoo because it has a lot of meaning to me. I get it because just like his or her, their work and I just want like a piece of their work on me. So that's how I look at it. I would say like my most favorite tattoo is I love my bats. I got this when I was 18. Yeah, so when people ask me how many tattoos I have, I'm like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, five. So the mask has dried, it's a clay mask. So you'll know when it's dry, cause it's now, it's hard. So I'm gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. Now my skin is prepped, luminous, glowy and ready to go. I'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can find this Teamy Detox Mask. So let's get into some makeup. I'm always touching my face and you shouldn't do that. So I was on Instagram scrolling per use and I came across Danessa Myricks in like her Instagram story, she had posted a tutorial on how she like does skin. And she did this really beautiful, luminous, she's the master at beautiful skin. So I thought I would try it and like try and recreate it and see how it goes. Either it's gonna turn out good or it's gonna be a complete failure. But you know, hey, let's, let's try it. So I'm starting with the hydrating lotion. Okay, so next question. What self tanner do you recommend and what can I use to apply it on my back? One of my favorite self tanners is Vita Liberata and it's called like their tanning water, tanning water mousse, mousse water tanner. It's something like that. Oh man, it gives you the perfect tan and it's not orange. It doesn't have that heavy self tanner smell. As far as getting your back, I don't know. I haven't mastered that. I normally just skip my back, I know. I'm tan in the front, white in the back. Fernando, my fiance, I've asked him to help me out, but sometimes, you know, you don't, you just wanna do it yourself. You don't wanna get them involved because then they try to like kiss on you and stuff and you're like, I'm just trying to get a tan. Can you not? I've seen some people get like a back scratcher and then they put a mitt on the back scratcher and then they go like that and they get it. I thought that was a really good idea. So I'm gonna come in with the illuminating veil and then I'm gonna put this in targeted area. So this stuff, you only need like a little bit or it's like disco ball. So I'm going to pat this on like my cheeks and stuff. Cause that's what she did. 
What's a goal you want to accomplish in your career? You know what's sad is like, I don't know. You know, you should always set goals for yourself, right? I guess important. Okay, so my goal would be uh, my goals. You know, I really enjoy doing YouTube. It's really fun to me. And I really like making videos. I really like talking with you guys and like hanging out and being friends. I'd love to continue doing this. And so then obviously like it would be nice if I could keep doing YouTube, make good money off of it so I could get a house. I really, really, really want a house. Saint, our dog, he deserves a backyard. He only deserves the best life. And I just want to provide that for him. And then I can adopt more dogs. This isn't career, Bailey, career. I would love to just take over YouTube, be the number one creator on the platform, buy YouTube and then turn it into like Baytube. The one thing I can't stand about this robe and I'm remembering why I don't wear it that often, loose arm sleeves. Trying to do your makeup, it like drags in all the makeup. So clipping my hair back. Now I'm going to use a darker foundation. So I have the Danessa Myricks foundation and I have N05 and she mixed it with like a little bit of oil and I don't have like a face oil, but I have a fourth Ray Beauty serum. Dude, my brushes are so dirty. Like I just need to wash them, but I don't want to. Pat it in where I contour. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Damn, you guys asked some good questions that are kind of deep that maybe I should think about more often. Three year plan. Where do you see yourself going here on YouTube? Another day of murder mysteries. Three year plan. I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. I probably should. It's kind of important to think about these things in your future and what you want out of this life. I would like to have my house. See, I don't know. I can't like commit. I don't know. Three years, bitch. Bailey, get it together. I would love to go back to school and probably study like criminal justice. You have to be a millionaire to go to school, which is like unfortunate. I had to pause for a minute and go get a snack. Cause Lord forbid I take a few minutes without eating, you know? I'm also gonna take off my robe. Demonetize. <laughs> Look, my window's closed. This robe is driving me nuts. Arm things keep getting in like on my makeup palette in front of me. Um, it keeps getting all up in there. So now I'm just gonna sit here topless. And what are you gonna do about it? I'll just tell everyone I have a tube top. I have a tube top on, you sickos. So then she takes a foundation that actually like more matches. And then she mixes it with a little bit of the oil again. Come up in here. Did you go to college? I went to community college. I went to community college because I did not do well in high school at all. Not because I was like doing anything bad. So then I went to community college and took like the basic classes so then I, with the full intentions to transfer. But then I was just like losing interest if you have adhd these types of environments just kind of make you really lose it okay <laughs> i think it was american history it was a lecture for four hours of this older gentleman you know no hate on him he was just standing up there talking the entire time and i was like i am going to rip my hairs out one by one because it just it was boring it was so boring anyway so then i started going to community college just to take art classes so i took drawing classes, painting classes, oil painting, figure drawing classes, kind of found that thing that I was just into. And then I would, like would jump to different community colleges. So I went to like three different community college, just taking art classes because I wanted to. It was making me happy. <laughs> I would love to go back to school now, but like I mentioned earlier, it's just so much money and it's sad that that's what prevents us from going to school. And it's kind of sad that I look back thinking, I'm glad I dropped out of college because at least I don't have debt. I just always kind of felt lost. Just didn't know what I was good at. I didn't know what I liked. In my early twenties, everybody was going to college and I would see like on MySpace or Facebook at the time, everybody in college, they're graduating, have all these, these different majors and I was still just confused as to what do I like? Like, what, do, what am I good at? How come I can't figure it out? Felt like I had no direction. And I guess I kind of still feel like that now because it's like, don't know what I'm good at. It's like the forgotten people like myself who just didn't know what they were good at. They weren't good at anything in school. What, like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I just feel like that. <laughs> I want more M&Ms. Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel. And I'm going to brush the brows upward. Do you enjoy making the Murder Mystery Monday videos? Yes, I do. I think they are really fun and it's exciting to me that something I'm really interested in, others are interested in too. So marrying the two and being able to like get away with that makes me happy because 
For a long time, I wanted to make the video. I was just too afraid of all the backlash I was gonna get. I've been on YouTube since like 2013. I think it was like 2014, maybe 2015. I uploaded a video where I was doing my makeup and I started talking about a true crime. And it, what, I didn't like call it murder mystery and makeup or anything like that. It was just me doing my makeup and talking about true crime. I mean, if you've been following me since way back then, maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. Cause I think I only left it up for like 30 minutes. And I got like two comments on the video in that 30 minutes and maybe like 16 views. And it was all thumbs down. I don't know, people were just upset about something. I think I came off just really assholey At that time, like 16 views was everything. I think I just deleted it cause I don't even see it. I would re-upload it as proof. I deleted it. Funny story, huh? Using the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Precision Pen in Brownie. I'm just going to like feather this through. This is the NARS Liquid Blush Hot Tin Roof is the shade. Oh shit, that just squirted everywhere. And I'm gonna tap it on and hope for the best. Some of the murder mystery episodes are really intense. Do some of the stories affect you? No, I don't picture myself in their shoes. I don't picture my, it happening to me. I don't picture it being any of my family members. Like I create a wall between me and whoever it is I'm reading about can get to you if you allow it. And it could also not get to you if you don't allow it. Obviously it's not as easy for some people to disassociate. I think naturally we try to relate or find a connection with, for me, I just, don't allow myself to go there. I'm just gonna build a little bit more in the contour shade. How did you get started on YouTube? Back in 2013, I decided to make a video and oh my gosh, it was just, so, I was so embarrassed and so nervous in my earlier videos. It's just like, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> me watching it, it's not really me. Like I'm not being myself in those videos. They just make me cringe. I can't even watch them because I'm just, I was so insecure. It, it's so hard to make YouTube videos. You're really putting yourself out there and the whole thing is just awkward. Like talking to yourself in a room with a camera. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I was on Instagram back then and I had really like intense makeup harsh contour and I loved it. I used to get asked, you should make a YouTube, you should make a video, please make a YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. That's where it started. I'm just kind of building the colors on my face. So I'm going back in with the blush. What motivates you to keep such a bubbly and fun attitude even when having a bad day? Ooh, Talia, Talia, Talia. Let me tell you something. The internet only shows the good days, only shows the good times, only shows the good moods, only shows the best that people want others to see. I have bad days. I won't be on Instagram. I won't be on Snapchat. I won't be on anything because I can't even like fake it. I don't even know how to fake it. I don't know how to like flip a switch and be like, hi guys, how are you? I'm having the best day ever and I'm living the best life of my whole entire like don't know how to be that person. Even though I just did it right now, like that's as much as I can do. So when I'm having a bad day, I don't even know how to go onto Instagram stories, let's say, or Snapchat and be like, hey guys, how are you today? Like I'm using this makeup product. Yeah, I mean, when I'm here, it's because it's a good day and I'm in a good mood. There are days when I am not in a good mood and I just want to do nothing but wear my sweatpants and lay in bed and complain. Cause like last week or the week before, oh man, it was just like a weird, week and people were telling me that Saturn, Pluto, I think maybe it was Mars, they were in retrograde and it was like messing with people's emotions. And I was just looking for any answer at that point. I was like, sure, I'll take that. Okay, planets, let's blame the planets. Oh, I was so down. I was not into it. I just like wanted to cry at every moment. I And I don't know why, like I don't know why I was feeling like that. Oh, feeling overwhelmed. I didn't do anything I was supposed to do last week. Like I was supposed to turn in some stuff for work. I didn't do it. I didn't even attempt to do it. Yeah, it was just, it was bad. I don't know what happened. Anyways, what I'm getting at is like, I have my low days too. And I used to do this all the time and I don't know what happened to me, but I used to just always see the bright side because there always is a bright side. Even in the worst circumstances, you, you can't see it now, but it's usually a blessing in disguise. If something doesn't work out job wise, friends wise, whatever wise, usually it's because there's something better down down the line, but you can't see that yet because all you see is the negativity that's right in front of your face. 
and it's really hard to focus on there's something more positive on the way or or even when you do get that thing that's down the road to sit and remember like remember when I was feeling really down that I didn't get that job well now look where I am sitting and remembering to be thankful for the things that you have right now right here if you have 10 cents in your bank account bitch thank you lord for that 10 cents you know you have to be grateful and thankful for what you do have and you need to stop and you need to recognize that and people i see people telling me well i don't have anything to be thankful for well you're leaving a comment on my video so you got internet you have either a computer a laptop a tablet a phone whatever you got that that's something to be thankful for a lot of people don't have those things you're sitting on a toilet like i hate my life Guess what, bitch? You're sitting on a toilet. You know how many people don't have a toilet? Find things to be thankful for. You have so much and it does help with your mood, helps keep you positive. Get these M&Ms away from me. I can't just sit here eating M&Ms all day. Like I'm taking that blush color and I'm putting it right on my lid. Do you consider yourself more in the beauty or the true crime community? Oh, I don't know. I don't even think I was filming that last part. It's not how long you and Fern have been together and when is the wedding. Fern and I have been together, I think for like four years, maybe five years, I could be lying. He's really great at remembering anniversaries. I can't remember anniversaries for crap. I feel very bad, but especially because he remembers and he's like, it's our anniversary. And I'm like, when do we plan on getting married? Um, There's really no rush. And I told Fern this before we got engaged as well. I've been very open and honest to him about this. I'm in no rush to get married. And if you are married, I fully support you. Do what you think is best for you in this life. For me personally, meh, I just <laughs> don't care to get married. I thought when you got married, you got like a really big tax break or something. I thought there was some kind of benefit to getting married. Unless like you're married to somebody who works in the government or somebody with a great job who can get you like great benefits, maybe housing, stuff like that, then there's a benefit. But for the most part, like I just don't see, what's the point? The only thing I get from getting married really is the last name and then if he has any debt or bad credit, I get that too, which sucks. Vice versa as well. I've been to a lot of weddings, like I've done a lot of bridal makeup. I've been doing makeup for, um, like 10 years now, shut up. Has it been 10 years? Just see the whole process and the beautiful dresses and the family and the friends and everybody coming together, the beautiful venues. The whole thing is, is truly magical and such a beautiful thing. And I do love it. But for me, like, ah, I'm fine. I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on a wedding for everybody else, then go into my marriage now in debt. And I also don't wanna get just like married randomly in the courthouse or Vegas or whatever, because I'm not in an urgency to get married. If I were pregnant or something, I would get married because I would just wanna have all of us to have like the same last name for sure. When people ask me, are you married or whatever? I, was, I could just say, yeah, I'm married. They don't, they don't ask for paperwork. My happiness just comes from companionship. Like I just want to be with him forever. Okay, so I put mascara on. I'm gonna put um, highlight on. This is the Natasha Denona Super Glow and it's number zero one. I broke it, but it still works. Um, what do you do for Ipsy and what would you consider your full-time job? So if you don't know, I partnered with Ipsy two and a half years ago. So Ipsy has what they call creators and the Ipsy creators originally were Crispy, Desi Perkins, Katie, Christine, Dominique, Sydney, Michelle Fawn. I'm sure there's more I'm forgetting, but like those were Ipsy creators. That means is like you sign a contract with Ipsy three years. I don't know if it was longer previously, but for me it was three years. And what that means is every like month I have to do certain things for Ipsy, whether it's stuff for like their YouTube channel, for their Facebook, for their social media, their glam bags, whatever that may be. I do that and then every month on like my channel or my Instagram, I have to do an Ipsy glam bag video showcasing products, just other things throughout as well. And they found me on YouTube. I was making my YouTube videos or whatever and one of the Ipsy people came across one of my videos, reached out, and at first I just kind of ignored the email because I thought it was junk mail. When you start doing YouTube, these companies called MCN, you get tons of emails from them and they want you to sign with them. So they essentially take all of your, they pretty much take all the money you make from YouTube. You get a small percentage back. They're supposed to like manage you and they never do. So I just thought it was one of those and I was just like ignoring it. So I'm really thankful 
that Ipsy found me because it's brought a lot of opportunity. It's brought fun. So there's other creators as well. And we don't really see each other much. Once I'm done with Ipsy in January, then I'll just be fully on my own. So when I say like I'm at work, I go to the Ipsy office. I'll do stuff for their social media, YouTube. I do Instagram and Facebook live with Kim on Wednesdays. Pictures for like the ads they run. I just have to do a lip and then I'm done. But there's so many good questions I wanna answer. Um, I love talking about myself. Do you or are you still doing makeup assistance like for a makeup artist and you help them? If you didn't know this, I've been doing makeup for a long time. I would makeup assist Jill and Jill's been on my channel before. I would makeup assist Jill a lot and I also makeup assist another makeup artist. I've worked with Demi Lovato, Sia, some Disney Channel kids. I've done makeup for commercial, print, music videos. I've done a couple music videos. So I really haven't been doing it as much. I still do bridal makeup here and there. I did a whole video on it if you're interested um, what I've worked on and what I've done, but am I still assisting? I haven't, I haven't in a while. But if like Jill hit me up today and was like, hey, can you help me tomorrow? I would do it in a heartbeat. I wanna try this wet and wild highlight really quick. I wore it the other day and I really liked it. It's so like creamy and buttery. I already put highlight on, but I just want a little bit more. Are you good with others also doing makeup mystery days? Flattered or annoyed? Love ya. Look, I have been sh on YouTube since 2013, right? And when, okay, when I first started doing Murder Mystery Makeup Monday, it was like, I was, it's so exciting because I finally found like my niche, is that what it's called, niche? Niche, I found my niche. I found something that's kind of different on YouTube, which is really hard to do. If you become a YouTube creator and you start making videos, um, I watched like all the videos on how to grow on YouTube, how to be a successful creator. And the number one rule is to find your niche and find something that is different. And usually what's different is like your personality and whatnot, right? Most likely, whatever you're thinking about doing, somebody's already done it or there's 10,000 videos of that. With my Monday videos, I felt like, oh my God, like this is it. I found something that's different. <laughs> Finally, I really plateaued on YouTube. I was losing subscribers because I was kind of getting boring. And you can kind of tell in my videos, I was getting a little bored. And I'm so glad I went with my gut and decided to do the Monday video because it's helped me grow. Yeah, it was just, it's been so exciting for me to like see these numbers that I've never seen before. It, it like showed, okay, maybe I can do this full time and actually like make a living off of this because before it was like, Anyways, so then I started to see other people were doing it as well. And I won't lie, um, at first it was a bummer. I didn't say anything, but it did, it did bum me out at first. I was like, damn, like I finally found that thing that's different. And now it's, it's gonna become another ball of videos that everybody else is doing. My videos are just gonna get lost in the mix. So yeah, it's like really selfish from the outside looking in. But now I just, I don't pay attention to it because I don't want it to bother me. Because at the end of the day, like it's gonna happen. I'm not the only one interested in makeup and murder. Yeah, I wish I would have done it sooner, I guess. I did do it sooner, I just backed out. Okay, I'm about to do my lips and I promise I'm done. A lot of people were asking about Botox and filler and if I've ever had that done. Um, there were also some comments or questions telling me to stop with the filler because I look crazy. I feel like also a lot of people on YouTube aren't fully honest. I mean, they don't have to be, honestly. They don't have to tell you if they've gotten Botox filler or work done. They don't owe that to you. I want to speak on what I've done. I've gotten Botox all throughout my head because I suffer from migraines and Getting Botox is an option for treatment as far as migraines go. I've done it, they say like on the third round of doing the Botox is when you should notice a big difference as far as if it helps with migraines. But my migraines have definitely gone down a lot. The Botox isn't filler. Botox freezes the muscle, paralyzes your muscle so you can't move it anymore, right? Look. You see how my forehead barely moves? That's Botox. One of the side effects or benefits is that it smooths out your skin. So when you see influencers who have no lines on their foreheads and when they lift their eyebrows, like there's no wrinkle, usually, usually it's because they have Botox. Um, no skincare really is going to leave your face like this. That's Botox. Filler, you're filling things up. 
Botox doesn't fill, it freezes. Filler is used when you've lost elasticity or like the muscle is breaking up. Filler is used like in smile lines, in your lips, um, in cheeks to make them look puffier and fuller. I've done some filler right here, but I've had the heaviest smile lines for, I mean, I look back at high school pictures and these were so heavy. So girl who injected me, she called it a sprinkle, which I liked, it was cute where she just does a little tiny bit. So I still have some lines, it's still natural, but it's not as like dark as it was before because this aged me a ton. So yeah, I don't, like the rest of me isn't filler. I just have some right here and then the Botox on my forehead. Oh, and then my upper lip. Duh. Everybody always accuses me of getting way too much filler in my lip and I've only done filler in my top lip because I personally like when the top lip and the bottom lip are even. My lips are pretty normal size and then once I do my lipstick, they're gonna look a lot fuller because of how I apply. So that's just like a little breakdown. So when I line my lips, I go corner upwards. It naturally creates a rounder look, corner, uh, harsh. Uh, uh, and then down here, corner, corner. Also like people leave comments like, oh, please don't get filler and turn fake and whatnot. But like, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna look fabulous when I'm 56 years, 60 years old. I wanna be like Jane Fonda. I just wanna be like flawless, gorgeous, face lifted, snatched, pulled back. Mm, I, ooh, yeah, I, I'm not against it, you know what I'm saying? Is this cute? I don't know. I kind of feel naked because I don't have anything on like my lower lash line. This look would be really pretty for a photo shoot. It's definitely not like wearable for a, a summer day because my face feels just greasy. Maybe for special occasion or whatever you do. I don't know what you do. Anyways, I hope you have a really good day today. You make good choices. Also a big thank you to Timmy for partnering with me on this video. Make sure to check out the link in my description box where you can find the detox mask. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I'll See you guys later. Bye. I'm still naked. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. M&Ms are so good. M&Ms are so good.